Okay, so here with David Reagan. The agenda today is the most important thing we got to talk about is driving here today. Um, I couldn't shake David. He's in another car. Yeah. He's behind me. Yeah, Rick said that he was going to uh, just text me an address in, in case I lost him. Yeah. And I said, try to lose me. You know, <laughs> I, I don't know that it's possible. Yeah, not going to happen. Right? There was no uh, red light that was going to keep me from following Rick. So I, uh, and we were two Fords. He was driving the Ford Raptor and yeah. I was in my Ford rental car and, yeah. uh, and it handled okay. Yeah, we're, I'm trying to do everything I can at this point to get on the Ford GT list. So if we have to mention Ford, later in the show. I mean, I noticed you're wearing a Ford Performance uh, yeah, Motorsport yeah, shirt. Yeah, Ford's part of the family, the, uh, so that, that's a good start. Yeah, um, I mean, I got the GT 500 KR. That's kind of our date night car. So yeah, yeah it's all Ford all the time. So We need to make a trip up to Canada where they build them in Multimatic, and we just need to walk in like we own the place and say, <laughs> this is one we're taking home. I love it, I love it. So you and I were at breakfast today, and we were talking charity. Yeah. And this has become uh, like this passion for me. Around this time last year, when we were at Barrett Jackson, you showed up. So if you want to just recap that story for us on how this happened, and what mm. I'd love to know is like your inspiration for, you know, building a car yeah. and then taking it to a car auction and selling it. So yeah. I'd love to hear that story. Yeah, thanks, Rick. And, and I think we can feed off of one another. And you know, for me, I was a 19-year-old rookie uh, entering the uh, at the time the Sprint Cup Series and coca-cola had a program i was a coca-cola driver and they said hey we're going to donate some money to charity every time you take a drink of coca-cola on tv it was called chug for charity nice. and i didn't really have a charity that i was going to align myself with i have an older brother that has down syndrome i've done a lot of work with special olympics kind of as a kid uh, at the grassroots level you know developed uh, relationships with some other kids that uh, were friends with my brother, but uh, 19 years old, a rookie in the Cup Series, and uh, I visited a Shriners Hospitals for Children. And so I saw the, uh, the impact that the Shriners were having on young kids, regardless of their injury, uh, disability, uh, whether it was something, you know, with a spinal cord injury, mm -hmm. a prosthetic arm or leg, maybe a burn injury, they were working on these kids and allowing them to live a pretty normal lifestyle and really changing the, the whole family tree for, for that family, the kid and their future family. And I thought, man, this was a great charity to work with. But the more I visited the hospitals, the more I got to meet families and I got to hear moms and dads talking about, you know, their young daughter or their young son that, got run over by a lawnmower, had to have a prosthetic and was told that he would never, you know, walk well again. And now thanks to the Shriners Hospitals for Children, he's snow skiing. He's uh, competing in the track and field events at his local middle school uh, because he's got a prosthetic leg that allows him to move and to jump and to do the things that normal kids would do. And so some of that those moments over the years, I learned that it was it was not necessarily all about me and who I was as a competitor, as a race car driver, mm -hmm. but it was about the other people around me. You know, what can I use my platform for, which was being a NASCAR driver, yeah. uh, interacting with millions of fans all around the country. How can I use that to make the world a better place, make the community that I live in a better place, and to love and serve one another? Ultimately, I think God put us on this earth to have relationships with one another and to mm -hmm. serve one another and to love one another. And so it wasn't until that all clicked over the last 10 years, now I get married, I have kids of my own, where it's really a passion of mine. I've become friends with uh, in inspirational guys like Rick here that, uh, that are doing so many neat things for uh, their employees, their family members, their community, like that gives me motivation to do more. So we had a unique opportunity to take a car out to Bear Jackson, and not just a normal race car, a car that I drove on the racetrack. Uh, with There's eight, no key. <laughs> with an 800 horsepower uh, engine. Uh, Roush Yates, uh, the same engine provider that builds our NASCAR engine, uh, gave us a race engine that you really can't even buy. And so uh, we worked with our manufacturer, Ford Motor Company. I worked with our team to, uh, to build this race car, and we brought it to Bear Jackson. It's got the carbon fiber seat the four speed transmission, everything. And we're gonna give 100% of this uh, money to the Shriners Hospitals for Children. Uh, the Bear Jackson folks have a, a great platform to sell these charity cars. And lo and behold, I meet some stranger named Rick Steele <laughs> uh -huh. that has a, a big heart of gold who spent a lot of money to uh, make a big difference in children's lives all around the country. He's got an awesome race car and uh, we've become friends and, and it's, been, uh, it's been encouraging for me that that was uh, 
kind of meant to be. We were in yeah. at Bear Jackson together. You were coming for a purpose. I was there for a purpose. Uh, the kids benefited from it, and now uh, we talk about a lot of other neat things that we can do. You know, we go to Bear Jackson um, every year, and. This was the year I said, I'm going to make my first ever purchase at Bear Jackson with a race car. I want to buy a race car, not knowing exactly what I wanted to buy. Yeah, right. So, yeah. you know, you walk in, there's, I think there's 3000 cars yeah, or something. Yeah, thousands of them. So you just walk in, you know, up and down the rows uh, and this car stands out and it's a race car. It's an obvious race car and it says Shriners Children's Hospital. And it like hit me just like a ton of bricks because my mom was a Shriners Children's Hospital kid. This is now 50 plus years ago, mm. right? Where she was in the Shriner Children's Hospital and there was no way I was walking out of this place without winning this car. Even though there was still a budget, you know, I had a budget because you know, there wasn't an unlimited budget. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I told my wife, I was like, this is the time for us to step up. So it's, it was interesting for us is that, mm. that's how philanthropy began for us too. It yeah, was like, yeah. it just kind of showed up and th there was a voice and it said, you know, take that step and we took the step, yeah. right? So the next thing we know, we have this car, you know, just becoming fast friends. The partnership with Select Blinds began because, again, just a really great opportunity for both of yeah. us. You know, NASCAR, I believe, is such a brilliant audience for us. Like what we do is home improvement DIY. Yeah. I mean, I think most people in the stands at NASCAR can build their own house. That's right. Right. Yeah. They're amazing. I mean, yeah. they're great with their hands. And um, that's our market. You know, we consider ourselves lucky to have met you, yeah. um, that you didn't have a sponsor for Daytona 500 that year. So it's just really perfect timing for both of us to, uh, to jump into that. Yeah, yeah. Timing yeah. is everything in this world. And, uh, but you have to be intentional about well, yeah. what your goals are, what you're trying to accomplish. And we were both intentional about yeah. what, what we wanted to accomplish out at Bear Jackson. And when you get together and, and two motivative uh, driven, you know, guys with, with you and, and your philanthropy work, uh, select lines and the passion that I had for Shriners Hospitals for Children, it all came together. And, and now there's a lot of other big things that, you know, we've discussed and we've talked about that will only explode from here. My partner and I, we had this, this calling to get a billion dollars committed to charity. Now, why a billion dollars? It, it's really a number that makes no sense, but we have an attachment to that number, right? I've been fortunate enough to be able to build a few things that have you know, reach that billion dollar mark in sales online. Um, my partner in this, Oren, he has helped companies raise a billion dollars. And we asked ourselves what would be, you know, what's harder than building a company uh, to a billion dollars? And we said, get a billion dollars committed to charity. The process starts with making the commitment and saying, I'm all in, this is gonna happen. Yeah. Um, for me, like the next part of that is putting yourself in the room and in the arena with people that are doing these kinds of things today. And, and that's why I consider you such a great friend because you're such an easy person to have a conversation with, but I know that we can talk about impactful things. We both are doing today, but yeah. what we plan on doing too, and if just you know putting those intentions out there, we make them happen, right? I mean, that's, yeah. that's kind of how yeah, it works. Yeah. God has blessed me with the ability to drive a race car, mm -hmm. to have uh, you know good health, that I haven't been injured over the last 12 or 13 years. I've been involved in some nasty accidents, but I've always been able to go to that next race. I've been able to live out my dream the last 13, 14 years of my life. And now I'm getting ready to go into my next chapter of, of my life. Well, what does that look like? And, you know, I'm still going to be involved in the NASCAR industry. I love racing. I love motorsports. I love getting behind the wheel and uh, mashing the gas and, and, and feeling that adrenaline. But my new passion is still serving one another, loving one another. I want to be a good husband, a good father. Mm -hmm. And so that there's a lot of neat things that uh, this world has to offer that if you're disciplined, that if you work hard, and if you use the things that, that God's given you, uh, you can make a big difference. And so uh, I, I never thought that, that we could raise several hundred thousand dollars uh, for the Shriners Hospitals for Children in and, and a one night auction, but we were able to do that. So, yeah. so there's, a, there's a lot of neat things and uh, who knows what will happen down the road, but uh, yeah, it, it should be fun. I think this is why you and I get along so well, is that I say we live like this world is so big and to make big change, you got to take big steps, big action. You've, you've got to be willing to do that. And the step that you're making, you know, was saying, listen, I've recognized I want to be home more. I mean, that's yeah. that's that a hard thing to do as a man, I think. And just as a, you know, somebody out in the world, you, you know, you get pressure from so many different yeah. directions and it's so easy to listen to that pressure. But making a decision like that, I would say is probably one of the biggest, you know, steps and, you know, change things you've ever done. Yeah. So Yeah, you, you know, when it's the right time, you know, uh, like we talked about timings, everything. and. Uh, sometimes things are just on your conscious and you just know yeah. it's time to do it. So yeah. I knew it was time. I, I still 
wanted to drive that race car some, and, and now I feel like I've got the best of both worlds. I'm gonna be home a little more, I'm gonna have some more time to do some, some neat projects in my community and uh, around the country, and also be able to still drive a race car on some occasions. So hopefully Select Blinds will still be, uh, be a part of that uh, venture. We'll have some fun uh, together, and I'll see if I can get Rick to tag along on some race weekends, and I'll tag along to a few of your uh, marathons and Ironmans, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep mixing things. You know, Ironman used to be sponsored by Ford. It was the That's Ford right. Ironman. Right. Yeah, and then, anyways, this show has been sponsored by Ford Motorsports, Ford Motor GT, and the Ford Motor Company. Um, we'd like to thank them. <laughs> I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, get, We're just get, saying Ford as much as we can at this just, point. Just tag uh, <laughs> selectblinds.com and uh, anything that you need. Uh, and, and the more Ford vehicles we sell, yeah. uh, your name's going to keep getting bumped up on that Ford GT. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you.